How's it going? I look like some dude out of Call of Duty and I'm here to talk to you about some knives and guns that I found important in my life. Okay, to start it out, I'm just gonna go through knives that I just that I just like, you know. They're knives I was super excited about. And that's gonna be this little uh fucking it's a Microtech Scarab. They're cheap OTF. I gotta say, I fucking love this knife. It needs to be sharpened, but it's great. <laughs> like, really, this... When I first got this thing, I had such a fucking... thing for this. It was so great. I sound like I'm just speaking out my ass, which I am, but... Oh, well. That's really all this is. These are gonna be, like, the rapid-fire ones. So that's, that's the Microtech Scarab. You can see it. He's got a little scarab, but this thing will focus. But yeah, it won't, but <laughs> there you go. That one's that. This one, it's a buck 119. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> the reason why I got this knife right here, well, what's your favorite scary movie, motherfucker? That's why. I fucking love this knife <laughs> for that. Scream is one of my favorite horror franchises. I just, when I saw this, I just wanted to get it. Just for that reason, really. <laughs> uh, this one is a Blade HQ exclusive, the Automat Kaleshnikov. I'll be honest, I just fell for marketing and I wanted a automatic knife and like I said, this one was cool and it's an exclusive. Hell, I liked it so much, I got the mini. This, look at this. Good God, I'm a sucker for good marketing. But. Oh well. On to. I bought them. They're good knives. I actually, They actually are good knives. The, the steel on this one is uh, D2 steel. It says it right there. You can't fucking see it, but there it is. It's D2 steel. It's honestly held an edge pretty fucking long. I haven't needed I haven't needed to sharpen it. To be fair, all I use it for is like boxes and shit. But yeah, I I haven't I haven't really needed it. God damn it. <laughs> I haven't really needed to sharpen it much. That's what I That's what I meant to say. Shit. <laughs> this Fuck, that was weird my butterfly knife this means a lot to me for a couple reasons pretty much just it's a fun little flipper all I really know how to do is open and close it I kind of know how to do like a thumb thing kind of I'm surprised they even fucking did that to be honest but this thing is really fun to fuck with. I fucked with it so much. Uh, and my friend got me into this because he was obsessed with these. That was the thing we bonded over. He's dead now, but at least I have something to have his legacy live on, you know? Shit, I got deep real quick, but oh well. On to the next one. Now this one. This one was the first like real pocket knife that I ever got. One that like flips out on its own. You just do that and it's out. Kind of like the first switchblade, so to say. This knife is a uh, guidesman. That's all it says. I don't think it has a name. If it is, it's like that's the steel. It's made out of cheap steel. It's like. 18 MOV, kind of that shit. 8 CR 13 MOV. That's what that is. It's cheap ass steel. But honestly, it works enough for me. This was my knife for the longest time. This knife has been through me through a lot of adventures I've been through. It's what I used it for everything, even just like cutting random shit. Like, I'll be going through a forest, I'll see like a stem, like a weed or something go up, and I just chop it. And it goes straight through it. This thing was sharp. 
And yes, I am one of those guys that uh, carried a knife with them in school. And this was that knife, and by result, this knife got taken from me at one point. When I was 17, I got this knife. I got it when I was like 16. Or was I 15? I had it for about two years, so it must have been 15. But I had this knife for a long time. And it got taken from me. So this is a replacement one that you're seeing right now. This is a replacement. But... Honestly, it's really nice. So this one doesn't have the same, like, energy the other one had, but... I tried to. I even broke the little safety thing. It does have a safety. It does have a safety. I broke it. So it doesn't work anymore. I just... I've always had it for, like, a fidget. I've always thought the safety got in the way. But this is a nice little fidget knife. Yeah, that's what it means to me. This one, this is like the first, like, closer, like, pocket knife I ever got. This is like pretty much the first knife, first weapon, so to speak, I ever got. It was this one. My grandpa gave this to me when I was about in fifth, fourth, fourth grade? Whatever that was. <laughs> this was my favorite fucking knife. For the longest time. But uh, this is the reason why I wanted like. This was my knife. And this is this is original by the way. I didn't have to replace this one. I don't even think they make this. It came in like a tin. Like a Coleman. It's a Coleman. Sort of thing. And it's got like. The tin had that on it. I don't know what happened to the tin, but at least I have the knife still. And that's the important thing. <laughs> but this was my knife until I got this one. And then this one was my knife for... God, it's been, it's been a while. <laughs> for at least over five years I used this. I even had to replace a lot of the screws because the handle scales kept shifting. I almost stabbed someone with this. I actually almost stabbed someone with this knife. Because, uh, to be fair, I was talking to his girlfriend, but... I don't want to get into it, but he wasn't good for her. Like, at all. Like, he was a bad guy, but... And he got in my face, and so I just reached in... I had, I had like, a military backpack with a pocket about right there. I just reached in and pulled it out. He started going off about, like, how I had a knife, and nothing came of it. It's just, he yelled I had a knife, and then he told the teacher, he told my band teacher that I had a knife. And nothing, nobody did nothing about it. So, yeah, that's the story of this one. It's pretty neat. Good thing he ran off. I actually would have fucking stabbed him, but... Speaking of stabbing people, look at this thing. <laughs> this is the Cold Steel Luzon. I think I'm saying that right. L-U-Z-O-N. Luzon. I had a security job when I was 20. And I wasn't able to carry a gun on me. I still did in my, like a backpack I carried because, I don't know, just in case. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. But... Yeah, I, so I carried this in my pocket, in case I needed to fucking s slash, hack, stab someone. This is like the first knife I really got for, like, a fighting purpose, was this one. And I almost did stab a guy during that job. Like, he was yelling at me, he was pounding on my uh, car 108, that's what we called it. That was the designation for that car. I was gonna, I had a taser too. I still have the taser, but <laughs> I got a taser. I was gonna tase him and then stab him with this. That was like some intense shit right there. That was the most intense moment of my entire life, probably. And this knife, 
Makes me feel a bit safer knowing I could actually stop someone from attacking me. So yeah, I like this one. And we'll get into the guns. I don't know if I said guns and knives, but we're going to get into some guns too after this. And then this one. This is my favorite knife ever. Like, this is so easy to get out and stuff. I know there's a probability someone's just going to steal it from me too. But I've been quick. <laughs> Every time someone tries to steal something from me, I just grab their hand, push it back down, and then... I probably have a gun or a, another knife, or at least my fist, just to fuck him with that. <laughs> and then I could probably get to this and stab him. Most likely, if I'm wearing this, I have a gun on me too, so they're probably gonna go after the gun. So my thing is, like, they have a gun on me, or I have a gun on me. They grab it, I go like this, and then I just stab him, you know? That's my indoctrination of how I go about things probably shouldn't say that out loud to people but oh well it's done what's done is done and what's done will be done but this is my favorite fucking knife I own just because of how just amazing this knife is I love the sheath or the cover the scabbard whatever the fuck the knife can be a bit better, I will say, but it is pointier and sharper than you think. It doesn't look like it will be. But this thing is fucking pointy as fuck. Alright, and this knife? Man, that was bad. Hold up. There we go. <laughs> this knife. This is a $4 mossy oak pocket knife. I got it at Walmart. Now why does this mean a lot to me? Because it was during a time I was real sad. Every time I carried a knife on me that was real nice and ended up going missing. Because I had friends that would steal from me. And so I had to carry a knife like this. <laughs> yeah, and I just remembered like... Someone had the... One of, those, one of the people from that friend group had the balls to fucking say to me how about you save up and get a nice knife just for you to take it from me I know what you're saying motherfucker <laughs> god damn that pissed me off a lot but still it just reminds me of a time where I had to really survive uh, survive <laughs> that's probably too much of a word for that but you know, just just a bad time in my life. I know why you keep a memento of that, because, well, for some reason that makes me just... Things are a lot better than they were back then. This is just to remind me that things could be worse. And honestly, I do like the knife. It is really, actually, a neat little knife. It's pointy. The blade geometry on it. It's actually quite good. I, I think so. It's actually, it's it's a neat little knife. I like it. Would I carry it as my main anymore? No, I do not. What I carry for my main right now is I do carry this. This is what I carry. And I'm being honest when I say this stuff. I fell for marketing, but it, it actually works. It actually fucking works. So, <laughs> yeah. It, it fucks. I'll tell you that much. All right, let me make sure. Yeah, that's all the knives and shit. All right. Now let's talk about some guns, shall we? This one. This is a 25 Auto. It's called the P25 by Raven Arms. It's super easy to take apart. Look at this. And now it's field stripped. You take out the little spring and firing pin system right there take out the recoil spring and it's field stripped like I guess you could take apart the the hand grips right here but I wouldn't trust that because last time I did that I almost lost a part 
and I didn't have a gun for a little bit, so <laughs> until I finally found it, but this gun, this gun will work. Okay, let me do a little test. Ah, that feels so bad dry firing this gun. I don't have any snap caps or anything for it. I just wanted to prove to you that it works. Firing pin's fine. It didn't break. But yeah. I know. Finger off the trigger, motherfucker. But. Yeah. This gun means a lot to me because it's uh, from my grandma. She, uh, she said she didn't want my grandpa to kill himself with this gun so she gave it to me because she knew I like guns and all that kind of shit and then I just just had it I've had it ever since this is my first gun ever got it when I was 17 I haven't seen them in so long but maybe I should try to call them at some point but that's why it means a lot to me. This gun right here, it's a Sky CPX2, 9mm. It only holds 10 rounds. And each little thing on the magazine just shows you this is 5 rounds, this is 10 rounds. And 10 is the max if I didn't already fucking say that. But it's a. Uh, 10 plus 1, so you can chamber 1, of course. And it's a double action only pistol. Now, that's good for carry, I believe, so you don't accidentally pull the trigger and shoot your nuts off. That's always been a thing I cared about. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's honestly a good gun. You just gotta keep her clean. And she doesn't like heavy ammunition. She likes lighter ammunition, like 115, 124 at the most. And hollow points, all the all that cool ammo, as long as it's a, like a kind of a light uh, grain ammo, she'll run fine. And you got to keep her clean. I've always seen people say like, "This gun sucks. It's not reliable." All that kind of shit. I've liked it. It's it's always been a good gun for me. It hurts. The shoot like the back strap right here is a little thick really digs into the webbing of your hand <laughs> sometimes if, especially the heavy ammunition not only is it not good for the gun it's not good for you like it's just shoot lighter ammunition through it which might be bad but maybe hollow points might be redeeming so i know you can get like 124 grain hollow points i have them so i know you can get those so <laughs> and it's it's just as easy to take apart Put the slide back, lock it back. You can just take this out with your fucking thumb. Make sure this is all settled down or else it might jam up on you. And then, there you go. It's field stripped. It's not cleaned, I think? No, it is. It's clean, but. I fucked off the. Yeah, everything's gotta be lined up or else it's not going in. Fuck. I think I'll fuck something up. Oh, there you go. And then you line up the, the barrel hole, put the pin back in, and then you're good. I wouldn't... I don't... Don't dry fire this, because the firing pin is not meant to be dry fired. I know I just did it, but that's just a function check. I remember taking this, unloading it, and then just like practicing my shots. Just bang, bang, bang. Because it's double action, so it really just, it just, it's nice for that. So you can have one loaded in the chamber and not worry about it shooting off your nuts. I know I said that, I'm just going in circles, but I really like that. I forgot what I was saying though, but <laughs> it's a really, it's a really nice pistol for like beginners and shit it's actually it teaches you how to take care of a like a auto loading pistol like this and it teaches you how to have better trigger control because the trigger is shit the trigger is absolute ass but it's an eight pound trigger 
you can you can still make accurate shots. You just gotta really be like you gotta be like that with it. And look at the trigger reset. Wait, hold up. Right there, that right there's the trigger reset. <laughs> so you, it's pretty much like a fucking. If you ever had a recon when you were little, it's like that where you you have to really let go of the trigger in order to do it. Like it's all the way forward, all the way back, nothing in between. Doesn't mean you can't shoot it fast though, because I can. But that's enough of that. This one right here is the fuck, security nine. Ruger Security 9. You can see that. It's backwards, but it's fine. This gun right here. This is what I had in my security job. It, it fit the bill. It's called the Security 9, so I kept this in my backpack <laughs> during that job. And I was in a place where I could have a backpack. I just kept it in the car or the little security shed, and I kept this in there. It's pretty... Honestly, it's one of the better pistols I had at the time. This is... Uh, fuck. Sorry, mate. Uh, this is also a 9mm as well. This holds 15. That's 14. It holds 15. 15 rounds. I know you couldn't see that, but oh well. It holds 15 rounds, and it's a... It's a... Uh, single action triggers so it's like a 1911 or something like that and it's real crisp it's a really nice trigger I fucking love this gun look at the trigger reset right there uh, it's almost all the way but it doesn't have much length of travel Anyway, so it, it's it's fine. This just looks really badass, I gotta say. Maybe not, you know. There we go. There. <laughs> and it's a bit harder to take apart. You uh, take the slide a little bit this way. You need like a knife to take it apart. But it's pretty much the same thing, but more like a Glock. Which this is called the budget Glock for a reason. But yeah, this is this is my security gun. I used it to uh, just protect myself during that time. That's why it means a lot to me. I guess that's it. Well, thanks for watching if you even did watch. And I'll see you maybe at another day. Goodbye.